Hello, hi everybody. I am Thekla Petridou. I'm a psychologist, an author, and a YouTuber. And this is our weekly video blog or vlog in English. Today it's Friday, the 13th of March 2020, and we have a very interesting email from a viewer of our channel, channel that um, gives us the opportunity to talk about a very interesting subject about so-called friends who impose their so-called friendship on us, um, giving us guilt trips and uh, trying to, to manipulate us into being um, their mother, psychologist, I don't know what. I go that, uh, I'll go straight to the email. Dear Thekla, I'm a Greek living and working abroad. I watch your vlogs regularly, usually at night when I relax. I thought that if I send an email in English, you could make the vlog earlier. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, this lady who sends the email, she says she watches nightly my vlogs in Greek. And uh, she knows that if somebody sends an email in Greek, um, uh, it takes up to five months for the email to become a video. But if she sends a vid uh, an email in English, it will become a video much sooner because our Greek uh, viewers are ma m many more than our English viewers for the time being. My story is about energy sucking imposed friendships. Energy sucking imposed friendships. I'm a woman at my 50s, happily married with adult children. I raised my kids to be independent and responsible. I gave birth to two sons and a daughter. All of them have their own lives. They do not live with us. So the lady is at her late 50s. She's married. Her children are adults. They don't live with the couple. So much, so will be it. I don't see any problem until now. I'm working in a large company who employs mostly Greeks who come here to work. She lives in a European country. I do not, um, t I, I, um, I do not tell you which country, so as to, to keep her identity hidden. I hold the managerial position. I am always professional, but friendly. I emigrated here myself 25 years ago, and I feel empathy for the newcomers. Last summer, a new employee tried hard to befriend me. She's five years younger than me, new to this country, single, living alone. She told me about her family, that all of them are a bunch of narcissists who don't care about her at all. Her, her parents got divorced when she was a teenager and both have remarried. She has one sister from her parents' marriage and three half-siblings, two from her mother's second marriage and one from her father's second or third marriage. She does not recognize her half-siblings as family, and she is angry with her sister that has relationships with them. Hmm. Maybe this uh, girl, this lady, uh, and brought up to be, to have parental alienation from her father. Uh, I don't know. Her father has died, of, but it's not only a matter of parental alienation, because when you have parental alienation issues, you do not... Um, you don't want to have any relationships with your father, if the uh, father is the alienated parent, and uh, the the uh, the half siblings you have from your father's uh, uh, new life. But this lady, the way I read it in this email, she also doesn't want to have any relationship with half siblings from her mother's um, uh, uh, new life. Her father has died 10 years ago and she has gone no contact with her mother. Ah, okay. She has gone no contact with the mother because, quote, she's a narcissist. It means that she told you that her mother is a narcissist and this is why she went no contact with her. If, she's, if her mother is really a nar narcissist, maybe she had no other option than going no contact. She told me that due to her family's dysfunction, she hasn't been able to have real friendships in her life. 
I felt sorry for her and tried to support her emotionally. So she guilt tripped you for once. I had no extra time or need or desire for a new friendship in my life, but I felt that she needed our friendship so much. So from, from the beginning, you moved into creating a friendship, into being part of a new friendship that you did not uh, wish at the beginning to have, or you didn't need to have. The thing is that now, six months afterwards, I feel overwhelmed. She keeps texting me at all times. She keeps sending voice messages on WhatsApp about everything. Voice messages. Oh my God, I hate voice messages. I really do hate voice messages because they are so time consuming. If you text something, um, some people uh, can read very quickly. Me, myself, I also read very quickly. I can read um, a text uh, in seconds. But if I receive, um, I feel empathy for you, my friend. If I receive a voice message, that it means that I will have to waste as much time as the person used to re record that phone message. I mean, if that phone message is two minutes, it means that for two minutes I will stop everything else and I will have to listen to that voice message. And some voice messages are like 15, min 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Or people keep sending voice messages of two minutes, 10 in a row. Okay. I understand you being overwhelmed. I find myself feeling overwhelmed every time my phone rings. Oh, that's not a good sign. I feel that she wants me to be everything for her. Her bestie. She even calls me that. But we are not in high school anymore to be in need of besties. I totally agree with you. <laughs> Isn't it a bit childish uh, to call uh, an adult uh, lady to call another adult lady her bestie? Oh my God. She, but we are not in school anymore to be in need of besties. We are adults. We have a life. At least I have a life beyond work. A life I worked hard for. I find myself feeling guilty because I have a husband, children and a granddaughter and she has nobody, as she often says. But am I responsible for her, for her loneliness? It's a good question to ask yourself. Are you responsible for her being lonely? Why should you feel guilty that you have a husband and she doesn't have a husband? Why should you feel guilty that you have kids and she doesn't have kids? Why should you feel guilty that you have a granddaughter and she doesn't have any grandkids? Why should you? Am I obliged to fill her gaps? Uh, I'm sure that you think in, in Greek and then you write in English. I don't know if there is uh, this expression in, in... We say this expression in Greek. I feel somebody's gaps. That uh, I, I, I fulfill their needs. Uh, no, you are not obliged to fulfill her needs. No, you are not. In, no matter in, in any way. You are in no contract with her. You are not her mother. And she's not, uh, she's not an underage child. You're not her wife. You did not choose willingly to enter this relationship. <sighs> this so-called friendship is one-sided. She's the one who benefits only from this. She often tells me I am the only joy in her life. Oh my God. I get exhausted and frustrated. I feel used. Of course you feel used. I try to terminate our friendship with subtle ways, but she does in subtle ways, but she does not get innuendos. Of course she does not get innuendos because it's not something that she wants to understand. Or she chooses not to. I'm sure that she chooses not to. She chooses not to. Will be will I be a bad person to terminate this friendship called Turkey and go no contact? Will I? Will you? Will I be a, ba a bad person if I terminate this friendship called Turkey and go not contact? She is not my child. I'm not her mom. I'm not her therapist either. Thank God you realized that she's not your child. You are not her mom. And of, of also you are not her therapist. She is so manipulative. Really? We didn't understand until now that she's manipulative. Last time 
I suggested that she, to, she should see a therapist, came up with these odd stories of so many untrustworthy therapists she encountered in her life. I was in therapy for three years straight when I needed to. What should I do? How do you manage such a person? How? You you ask me if if you will be a par, if you would be a part person a bad person in case that you went cold turkey and no, uh, that you you had this friendship cold turkey, you gave an end to this friendship abruptly and go no contact. I think that you will be a bad person if you do that. If you terminate this friendship without explaining to your so-called friend the reasons why you terminate this friendship. First of all, I believe in human freedom and in human rights. It's a fundamental human right who we hang around with. Since we are adults and we are not underage children that we have um, we have to obey our parents' orders or we have to live with our parents in the same house or whatever. Since we are adults, we can be independent, we are allowed to be independent and we are allowed to choose the people in our life. You are allowed to choose who is your friend and who is just an acquaintance or who is just uh, a workplace acquaintance in this instance. Uh, your mistake was that you you felt, you fell, you felt for her and you fell in her guilt trip and you felt sorry for her and you pushed yourself to go in a friendship that is no, is of no uh, value to you. I really do believe that um, friendships uh, in adult people are something that we choose to have in our life when we have the time, space, energy, and need for this, and desire as well. Uh, friendships are like uh, platonic love relationships. You do, not have, um, you do not have sex with your friends, but you have a relationship, a platonic relationship. And it is important, the element of desire, I desire to be friends with this person because why would you desire to be friends with somebody? You might desire to be friends with somebody because she's a fun personality or he, he or she is a fun personality and you feel well to be around him or her. You might feel desire to be friends with somebody because somebody is a spiritual person and um, by having contact with this person you become a better, better person yourself. Or you might have the desire to form a friendship with somebody because that person shares some hobbies or interests with you and you find it very enjoyable to participate in these hobbies or interests together. You feel the desire. In your case with this um, lady, she felt the need and maybe the desire also to be your friend, but you did not need to be her friend or you did not need her to be your friend, you didn't have any desire to be friends with her. So you suppress your fundamental uh, human value of independence. We do not have to be friends with everybody or anybody who thinks that we could be good friends. It's their opinion. We, the same way we do not have sex with everybody, who, with anybody that wants to have sex with us, the same way we don't become friends with anybody who wishes or pressurizes us, press us. She, press, she pressurized you. She, she exerted uh, psychological pressure on you in order to become her friend. Your mistake was, was that you succumbed to her pressures, to her emotional pressures. You will be a bad person if you go no contact and cut this friendship called Turkey, meaning that she deserves and you deserve she deserves an explanation. This explanation might be an oral explanation or a written explanation. Um, some people are really hard to talk to. I mean, since you tried with innuendos and you tried in a subtle way to terminate the friendship and she didn't, she didn't pick up, 
she didn't understand what you were trying to do or she chose not to understand. My opinion is that you write her a letter, an email, write this letter on yourself, take as much time as you need, express your feelings in that letter, try to be as um, uh, realistic as possible, uh, tell her exactly how you feel, tell her that uh, you own the responsibility for your mistake to go into a friendship that you, you did not have any need or desire for. Explain to her that the way she connects with you makes you feel uh, pressured, that you, you, do, you, want to, you wish to terminate this friendship because it takes an emotional toll on you, and that since um, you are uh, you have been you have gone you have been under therapy for three years as you say straight and, and I mean you say I went under therapy for th- I underwent therapy for three years straight you say that to stress that you went to your therapist and you had therapy and you didn't start saying that this therapist is bad that therapist is bad and so you have so that you have excuses in order not to have therapy so since you you have a fragile uh, emotional stability yourself and since in the past you went through therapy you have um, a moral responsibility for yourself and the people in your life that you chose them to be there like your husband your children your grandchild uh, your friends because i'm sure that you have you don't you don't write if you have any friends but i'm sure that you have friends Uh, um, and that you have feel a moral responsibility towards yourself and the people in your life to protect yourself from unnecessary emotional burden. And that you wish her the best. You wish that she finds uh, what she looks for. Um, it's very possible that there are other women, maybe in your workplace as well or somewhere else, I mean, in the society. She can find other people to hang around with and explain to her the reasons why you took that decision talk about yourself honestly say that uh, maybe you could maybe you have a people pleaser side and say i have a people pleaser side in my personality and that people pleaser side people pleaser side was activated by meeting you and i tried to please you and i did not um, listen to myself my needs and my desires and i'm sorry to terminate this friendship but i do terminate it for this for one two three four five six reasons explain to her and then you can if you wish to go no contact you might write in the letter as well because uh, i find it very difficult to keep boundaries with you or you, you don't have to say you find it very difficult to keep boundaries with me say about yourself because it's true you didn't manage to give her boundaries early on in the relationship because i find it difficult to keep boundaries with you i tried myself to go no contact with you please um, understand that this is something i do for myself i do it for my psychological balance my emotional balance Uh, i do not hate you i do not have any hard feelings about you I'm sorry that I didn't tell you no from the beginning, but this friendship has become too much a burden for me, an emotional burden, and I cannot carry. Then you are not a bad person. You are a sincere person. You are an honest person. You tell your truth. You tell your reality. You take your responsibility for letting yourself um, slide into a relationship, a friendship that you did not choose um, uh, mindfully. And move on. And uh, trust me, if she really is a, a person who really wants to help herself, she might be benefited from your email, but she might be not. The important thing is that you will be benefited by writing down your emotions and thoughts and by clearing your position. I wish you the best to you and to everybody who have similar difficulties in their life uh, trying to have st- emotional stability and psychological balance with the people around them. Have a nice weekend, everybody. Bye.